Hey guys, it is Clemmy with Clementine's Pet Plan, and I am just out and about. I'm gonna go get a few groceries, and I just wanted to come on and say hi. Just dropped my son off at work. He works at Sam's Club, so his car, I guess the starter went out, and he needs to get it fixed, but he's been working the last couple of days, so he really hasn't had time. Anyway, I'm just going to run to Kroger and pick up some veggies and some tea. I don't have anything major planned, so I just thought I'd come on and say hi and give you an update about my weight loss because I'm not sure if everybody knows, but I'm friends with a lot of you on Instagram and on Facebook, so you may have already seen, and some of you were on Muffin Chat, and I typed in the chat, that this week I lost four pounds, and that put me at 103 pounds lost. I'm so excited, just amazed that it's working as well as it's working, and just really, really excited about how everything's going. What else do I have to tell you guys? I did meal prep on Friday and Saturday and then on Sunday. Friday I made taco soup. Saturday I made buffalo chicken. And Sunday I made, um, I just did ground turkey meat and browned it and added the taco seasoning so I portioned off one pound and froze it to where the next time I want to make taco soup it's already ready I can just throw it in the crock pot with all the other things and let it heat for about four or five hours and then portion it out again but for me that's what I do around the first of the month I'll just cook up all these individual and portion out individual portions of the things that I know that I can take out of the freezer and thaw them out like one day or two days ahead of time and um, really that's it makes it really easy I stay on plan that way it's the easiest way for me to do it. The hardest thing for me is um, if I had to cook every day, I just wouldn't do it. I'm not that person that loves to cook. I know there's a lot of people out there that do, and I am only cooking for myself. So that is, that makes it so much easier than a lot of you guys. Um, where you have to cook for a family. I know that's hard because they won't eat a lot of the same things that we would. But, um, you know, I wish my son would do it with me, but he just won't. He, he's not interested. So, I just meal prep for myself. And I'm going to show you guys um, at some point. I'm just going to show you in my freezer where I have everything portioned out and ready to go for practically the whole month of meat if I wanted to just pull something out a day at a time or the buffalo chicken I can make either salad with it or I can make um, flatbread pizza sorry which I don't eat a lot of the pizza now that it's summertime I just don't like cooking it and even in the little toaster oven that I bought it just I don't know something about cooking it in the summer it just is too hot to me so um really that's the whole gist of it and then the vegetables I figured out that because I am only meal prepping for myself I bought too many I was wasting 
such a big amount of food. I couldn't believe how many things I just threw away. And then I thought about the ease of buying the already cut up um, apples and things. But I figured out with that that it's just, you know, a lot of times you don't know what you're getting when you get it like that. And sometimes the apples will be soft and it's just not not good so now I'm just trying to run to the grocery store um, a couple of days a week and just you know try to keep my things fresher that way so right now I'm going to run into Kroger and the tea that I drink is the diet decaf the Kroger brand and I love it and I drink that probably more than I drink anything and um, really that's about all I have to pick up today is some vegetables and some tea so I'm gonna do a really quick grocery haul when I come back and I'll show it to you guys but for right now I'm gonna run into the grocery store and I will come back on when I come out Hey, hey again. I just went to the grocery store and picked up a few things and now I'm headed back to the house and I'm just going to finish up. Like I said earlier, I'm going to dice up that rotisserie chicken that I got from Sam's and put it in some containers so I can stick it in the freezer. I don't know about where you are, but it's hot today. Hot, hot, hot. Anyway, so Melody at Transforming Melody, today's her birthday, so I want to say a big, big happy birthday to Melody and say, hey, how are you? I hope you're having the best day ever. And I love you, girl. And, um, talk soon. I know that Joe's on vacation this week and then next week you're going to visit with Rhonda. But happy birthday and everybody give Melody a big shout out. Um, other than that, I'm just going to head back to the house. I told you guys I'm boring. Boring, boring. But 103 pounds, you guys. 103 pounds. Every time I say it, I'm just like, oh my gosh. It's crazy. So, oh, I want to tell you guys, my sister moved back from Dallas and she started going to CrossFit last Monday. And she said, come on, go with me, do it. Because we have a friend who's an instructor. And I said, no, thank you. CrossFit is not going to be the thing for me. I can barely carry the weight I still have on me. But I do walk on my treadmill. Not as often as I should. I have a treadmill in the spare bedroom. So I just go in there and get on it and watch somebody's video. Usually Melody. And smile while I'm walking. And before I know it, I've walked 20 minutes. But... For me, I walk at like 1.7, 2.0, 2.3, and then I just work it back down. But someday I'm going to be walking faster. But for right now, that's what I got. And I need to do something to start toning though, because a girl's going to have a lot of loose skin. And um, if you've seen. Uh, any of my information on Facebook or Instagram. Clementine's um, plan on Instagram. You can follow me on White Watchers Connect at Spa City 45, which I'm not 45 anymore, but I created that the first time I tried White Watchers, which was eight years ago. And I just couldn't get my mojo going to get it done. Um, anyway, so, yeah. 
Squaw City 45. I should just change it to 53, right? Squaw City 53. Squaw City, because that's where I live. I live in the Squaw. Anyone who knows Arkansas knows that Hot Springs is the Squaw City. And anyway, I'm going to tell my weight and, you know, where I started, where I went, and I'll probably post a picture of my graph and the chart on Weight Watchers because I weigh every Monday, and everybody says, why do you weigh on Monday? And it has become a little more difficult to um, weigh in on Mondays and not Tuesday or Wednesday for some reason. Um, I tend to want to eat something out of line. Anyway, I'll catch up with you.